Hi, this is Pramod, and today I am talking about how to monetize a product as a product manager. And this is really important uh, in terms of product because if we want to uh, get the monetary benefit, we'll have to monetize it. And before I start with this topic, I just wanted to uh, start with my career journey. And I started my career with Honeywell as an engineer. Uh, and I was doing the product development for one of the retail ERP product. And this gave me a good exposure in terms of understanding the business need because it was a billing system. And it gave me an insight, uh, first of all, to understand how the business works, like they want to create some invoicing system. So I understood how they create invoices, what are the key fields when they capture uh, in the invoices. So they need a backend system and a frontend system. So we created this system uh, in SQL Server. Uh, and we were able to capture all the needs of the customer in terms of the invoice processing. Uh, it was a great experience. Then I joined NCL Consulting. And here I supported uh, two US-based clients for the product management uh, perspective and product development perspective. And uh, again, I started with Dell R&D Labs uh, in the product space. So here I was working on the package product, uh, Oracle ERP, and the other uh, supporting the other processes around to ensure that the product uh, development and the product management is done ex uh, extensively. And it was again a great experience because uh, Dell is like a Fortune 500 company and uh, it really focuses on the customer experience. So a lot of learning in terms of that uh, and understanding the product behavior uh, in the manufacturing space. Uh, and then I joined American Express uh, around 11 and a half years back and it's a great organization to work for. And here I have played uh, multiple roles. Like I started as an engineer supporting the Oracle product. And then uh, mostly working on the different platform and product integration to achieve the business need. And I was mainly focusing on the uh, supply chain department and other uh, like the finance department to create the products which are solving the problems in the area of the supply chain and the uh, finance department. So again, a great experience. Uh, and American Express being the Fortune 500 company, they always live up to the uh, customer expectations and they focus on the brand and the quality of work. So as a person, I have learned a lot in terms of the leadership skills, in terms of the technology, in terms of the product experiences, uh, building the scalable products and doing the stakeholder management for them. So uh, in nutshell, uh, overall, I have around 15 experience in the field of the product management, product development. And today I'll share my experience, uh, how to monetize a product. But if we want to you know, check how we can have the right strategy in terms of product monetization, it has some key factors. And I can highlight these one by one. Uh, so I'll start with the uh, strategy, like if you want to launch the product, uh, you know, the, the how we will, if you, if you have a product and we want to launch it, what could be the platform for that product? Uh, we need to ensure, you know, if it is a website or a mobile app or a combination of both, uh, depending upon the need and the business uh, requirement, we'll have to capture this piece and the alignment with the senior stakeholders needs to be done to achieve this target. And this is really important because if we only launch uh, a product in the website, people will use it. So that's one way of people using a product. And uh, if we are able to monetize it, we will get you know some money out of it. Uh, but at the same time, if we have the other option where we can uh, access the uh, application in one of the mobiles or you know in the mobile side uh, we have two options now 
and users will access uh, the application in both the platforms and the user experience will increase and the monetization piece the revenue for the company will increase in, in that case uh, because at times with my experiences uh, i found people prefer some people prefer to be in mobile uh, accessing any any app, any product and so i think that's a great experience if you are able to launch the product in both the platforms be it mobile and website so that strategy we need to think through and at times it is difficult to say that uh, you know in the initial phase the company wants to maybe just check on one of the platforms see you know they see the response if the customer response is good then they go with the mobile app also at the later stage so it's also upon on the budget and other factors you know the the uh, stakeholders needs to be aligned and as a product manager we need to think through like in the whatever budget is given we are able to do justice uh, in terms of the selecting the product platform strategy so that needs to be in place that is really important and if that is in place uh, the customer experience uh, you know that is in all place basically and the with this there is a higher chance that the monetization result for that product are pretty good so that's one factor then i'll talk about the other important factor is uh, pricing model so if our pricing model is very efficient uh, then again the the revenue generation for our product uh, is very high and then as a product manager we need to think through how efficient we can make it because we need to you know feel the customer pain uh, in terms of pricing because if the pricing is too high it is difficult so we need to do competitive analysis in terms of pricing whatever competitors are providing in the market and this is that we can do a re reasonable uh, pricing for a product uh, you know in terms of pricing and also we should have easy access for the customers in terms of pricing so basically giving different options in terms of pricing model uh, and if it is a new product uh, maybe it, it can be you know free for first 2 to 3 months see and we you know with that we'll be able to see the customer response you know they register for us once we have good amount of customers and you know basis the response we can then you know put up model place for the subscription and uh, that too has to be very easy I mean, it, it cannot be like a yearly subscription so uh, it is it is difficult it will be costly so for the customers to make them pretty easy uh, we'll have to give them the option like monthly or quarterly and yearly all the three options needs to be in place so that people who are comfortable with yearly subscription they'll go with that people who are comfortable with quarterly they'll go with that and people with monthly will go with that so that's the trend in the uh, you know market how people try to see and at times people use it for like a month if they found the product is giving a value they try to use it monthly and you know once customer spend a good amount of time in the platform like maybe a year and they are confident uh, with the service and the other features of the product and they feel they have a value out of definitely the customer will increase their monthly or a quarterly subscription to yearly based you know after a year maybe this is the service which Uh, the the company is providing to the customer. So, as a product manager, we need to ensure uh, we need to understand the customer requirement at every phase, at every uh, phase of a strategy, uh, every aspect that is really important. And so, uh, I think this is really important to understand how to keep the pricing in such a way that customer is con uh, you know happy to you know go with that pricing to use that product. that ways so this is kind of a you know pricing strategy where we say okay for the first few months we'll try to onboard the customers by giving them free access once people are comfortable with the quality they will definitely go for a subscription based model with us so that's the strategy we need to think through a balance of it and if you are able to make a good amount of balance definitely the revenue stream will be good, you know good in numbers 
so that's the key focus area and it is really important uh, in terms of pricing so our pricing model needs to be efficient that's the important point which i wanted to convey now i'll highlight one more point which is taking the customer feedback now uh, at times it is very simple that i uh, we take customer feedback but there has to be a robust mechanism that we are able to take the customer feedback regularly on our products because customers are the people who are using our product day in and day out they know you know all the features of the product because they are using it so they are in a better position to give the feedback if they are if the product is able to solve their problem if the quality of the product is good any 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 aspect in terms of if the product is available 24 by 7 if the product performance is good you know we when we create a product and launch it we do the testing of it whether the product is able to meet the technical requirements the performance and everything but when it comes to the production and the number of users increases users can only tell the experience the real time experience so that needs to be captured regularly if we are able to capture those feedbacks feedbacks regularly we can you know definitely put them in our backlogs and we can try to make our product more efficient over a period of time and anyways we always maintain a product backlog in terms of uh, you know just to ensure that we are able to capture all the customer problems and we are able to solve them you know quarter on quarter uh, so uh, in my view the customer feedback is really important because that gives the real picture about the product how the product is behaving and we have a scope to improve in that product so definitely that needs to be prioritized uh, those problems needs to be solved otherwise uh, after some time customer will not be happy to use such a product which is giving problems in some stages maybe the product is you know working very slow uh, the, the quality of the product is not up to the mark so those things we, we should be able to solve as soon as we get the feedback we should prioritize that so that's the take which i wanted to highlight in terms of customer uh, feedback because that will uh, ensure that the customer experience is good if you are able to you know improve our product over a period of time but if you are not able to improve our product in, in next few months definitely the acceptance of this product will be low and the monetization will go down the revenue stream will go down because of this problem so we should you know focus on taking the customer feedback regularly and ensuring that we are able to capture it solve the problems and then the product monetization will be in you know pretty good shape and then just to highlight in terms of how we can focus on the customer attention because the other piece the other important piece is uh, if we could focus focus on the customer attention and customer acquisition so these are the two you know big topics or the key points which you need to you know capture uh, if you want the product monetization to be in place because if you are able to retain our customer with the the quality we are giving in the product with the services which we are giving in the product if they are excellent we can easily retain our customer but if the quality of product and the services offered are not up to the mark definitely the customer will you know move on with some other product so we need to ensure uh, how we can retain our customers so there has to be a strategy around uh, identifying the customers uh, who are long with us even the new customers how we can retain them give them the relevant offers see you know we need to do analytics around you know what are the uh, you know product features they are using uh, maybe giving offers to them you know in a timely manner which will encourage them to use this product for long term and be with us so we need to think through on that aspect how we want to you know focus on the retention of the customer uh, that's really important from long term and short term perspective and once this is in place definitely the revenue stream will grow uh, because 
as we are able to retain the customers uh, there is always a word of mouth you know happening between the uh, customers you know they refer this product to their friends and relatives so that ha happens automatically if the product is good uh, and if the product is not good definitely they will not use our product in long run so uh, we, sh we we should have a strategy on how we can uh, retain our customer uh, that's really important and now uh, again how to improve our revenue stream right so the other thing is the existing customers are giving us a good amount of revenue but if you want to really grow this product fast uh, then we should also have a strategy in place which which would capture the needs of customer acquisition so we have to do you know we will have to do the analysis and analytics on uh, you know what kind of customers we need to acquire so because we now have a customer base in place maybe with that historical data we can see what kind of people are using our product like millennials the younger generation the mid age people or the older age people maybe those segmentation we need to do and see what are the numbers you know on the higher side on which category or group of people and you know try to target those audiences in an efficient manner uh, because if you are able to target the right audience the conversion rate for those customers will be pretty higher so we should contact those customers who are you know really in the space and uh, where they can utilize our product or they can consume our product or use our product so that's a really key aspect uh, in terms of customer acquisition uh, because if the strategy in place uh, month on month our customers will increase and that will you know increase our revenue and the monetization for that product will be in place so i think uh, if we are able to capture you know all these uh, specifics in terms of the strategy like the efficient pricing model or the customer feedback the product uh, product platform uh, selection and able to focus on customer retention and new customer acquisition i think the product monetization uh, will be a success story for that product and with that uh, i just want to highlight a very important factor which is kind of an indirect factor in terms of you know contributing to the monetization of a product uh, like the technology aspect technology why i am highlighting because uh, when we build a product there has to be a tech platform to support it and that platform has to be efficient so the as a product manager we need to align with the engineering team uh, whether uh, you know which is the tech uh, you know tech product which will be better to support the product needs so be it a cloud based product or uh, you know some other you know database uh, and it has to be in such a way that uh, if we have you know known data and unstructured data then whether we need to capture that product in a big data ecosystem or uh, a cloud approach will be much better so those things we need to think through uh, upfront only with the technology team if that is in place our product will be like available 24 by 7 because the infrastructure of our product and product platform needs to be in place if that is strong and efficient the product will be available 24 by 7 to the customers uh, or close to that uh, otherwise the downtime there could be downtimes in the product availability and that will lead to the uh, experience to the customers which is not good and in long run that will damage uh, the the product branding and it may happen if this if the product goes down you know twice or maybe four times a month uh, every month for next six months or one year then this is not a you know good sign for the uh, for the for that product and definitely the customers will not or the acceptance of this product will go down month on month because of that issue so how to solve that problem right so upfront only we need to you know engage uh, with the technology team and ensure that we are able to you know meet this technology requirement and we are able to think through and discuss and then put the 
tech stack in place which will support our product needs in any of the platforms, be it a mobile uh, app or the website. Uh, and then the key point in terms of technology also is whatever uh, tech stack we are choosing that has to be, uh, you know, that product should be, the tech stack should be scalable enough. You know, so let's suppose initially we have maybe 1000 customers, we have a prediction of, we may have between uh, 1000 to 2000 customers in the next six months. And if the pro product is a huge hit and a success, then maybe in a year it could go up to maybe 60,000 to 80,000 customers. So maybe after two years, it will be maybe close to three, three, four lakhs. So year on year, the number of customers will increase and which means the impact of, uh, you know, when so many customers log into one of the products, you know, in a single time, uh, the technology platform may go down if it is not up to the mark it's not meeting the requirements of you know the hardware of that uh, you know the server configuration uh, and the other uh, technology requirements are not up to the mark supporting because every in hardware infrastructure of technology has a cap on maybe that tech stack can support maybe 10 lakh customers maximum so we need to think through uh, from long term perspective if uh how like for next five years you know what could be the number of customers who could you know uh, join uh, join us in the product and the tech stack needs to be in place for that so that thinking needs to be done upfront with the technology team so that after one year our product doesn't go down for like six hours or a day and creating such a you know worse experience for the users so that should not happen so if you are able to capture this uh you know the point of scalability uh, in the tech stack uh, the product will be in good shape if the product will be in good shape and able to perform able to meet the needs of the customer it is uh, not going down and it is you know 24 by 7 online in that case uh, definitely uh, the customer will, will love this product which is all the time on and somehow the customer base will increase and that will lead to the you know uh, monetization of this product so we'll get more revenue because of this and if that is not in place the product will lose the customers so the monetization will have an impact so that so this is a really important aspect the technology which people at times ignore and just put the product into the production and they don't think through whether the tech stack chosen is you know scalable enough or not and after six months they struggle with the product and we can avoid that very easily by thinking through how we can choose the right technology product the uh, right technology stack and how we can and whether that tech stack is scalable enough so if you are able to think through we can uh, you know we are in good shape and definitely we will be in a healthy uh, stream of monetization of our particular product and then uh, finally i just wanted to highlight you know in terms of what are the key points uh, you should focus on when we are when are when we are thinking of you know monetizing the product like choosing the right product platform in terms of the product launch that is really important like it can be a mobile app or a website right so that ways and then the pricing needs to be very efficient uh, that's really important again because it hits the customer uh, definitely hard if that is not in place and then uh, as I said earlier also that the customer feedback is really important. We need to take the feedback and improve the products. Then it will have a, you know, definitely it will get a difference uh, in terms of customer experience. And uh, again, the customer retention and acquiring customers is really important to increase the revenue stream. And one of the hidden aspect is the like technology uh, that needs to be in place. We should be, you know, we should consider this point in terms of how the tech stack can be chosen and how uh, you know whether that tech stack is scalable or not so that's really really important uh, thank you so much uh, again uh, just wanted to thank you for your time take care bye bye